Hey y'all, I'm Kaylee Moody. And I'm Amy Claire Lankford. Here are your announcements for this week. There's a middle school volleyball game tonight at Cottage Hill at 4.30 and 5.30. The JV volleyball team is hosting the Battle of the Swamp Tournament at home on Saturday. There is a football pep rally in the morning at 9.30. Wear your beach themed outfits. Keep up the Aloha spirit for the football game against Orange Beach tomorrow night at 7 o'clock here at the Swamp. We'll be filming a video during the football game to enter a contest for the best student section in our division statewide to win a $500 prize that will go towards the school. There's a middle school pep rally Monday. Monday night, there's also a middle school football game at home, 6 o'clock, against Chickasaw. The theme is yellow and gold. Remember that yearbooks are online sale only. The QR codes are posted around the hallways. The homecoming dance will be in the gym. Tickets are $20. Outside date forms can be picked up in the office and are due September 9th. Any 9th through 12th grade girl interested in joining Senior Try High Wai needs to complete a Google form and pay $30 due to Ms. Anderson in the Media Center by September 9th. Posted around the school or the QR codes. Let's turn it over to Joseph for more homecoming announcements. Homecoming! I thought that would make a louder noise. It's that time of year, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it. This year's theme is Satsuma Homecoming, a Netflix original. Dress up dates this year are September 12th through the 16th, and they're all themed around movies or shows on Netflix. Monday's movie is Footloose, so you can dress out in Western wear. Tuesday's is Gilmore Girls, so you can dress out in college casual. Wednesday's is Stranger Things, so you can dress out in 80s slash retro. Thursday's is Outer Banks, where you have the choice to dress out in preppy or in appropriate beach wear. Friday Night Lights is the last dress out day, so be sure to dress out in Satsuma Spirit attire. The homecoming parade this year is on Thursday the 15th at 6 p.m. and the oh-so-anticipated homecoming football game is that Friday the 16th at 7 p.m. Be sure to go out and support your Gators as they play against St. Michael's. That same day, there's a pep rally first thing in the morning as soon as school lets in, so head to your first period and await dismissal to the football field. To close off the week, homecoming dances will be held that Saturday. The junior high dance is themed around Stranger Things and will be held in the main building gym from 5 to 7 p.m. Tickets for that are $15. The high school dance will be in the same place from 8 to 11 p.m and tickets for that are $20. Hey everyone, I'm Wyatt Dixon, and for this episode's Gator Bite segment, we're walking around the school finding teachers and students to quiz them on pictures from old Satsuma High School yearbooks and getting their thoughts on the upcoming homecoming week. Enjoy. All right, so we have our first student here. What is your name and what grade are you in? My name is Andrea Wager, and I am a sophomore. Okay, so the question for you is, which teacher was a former drum major in the past? Thurgill. <laughs> he seems like he'd know how to do a drum. Okay, you have any other guesses? No. All right. <laughs> so know. the answer is actually Miss Chrysler, who's AP government and economics teacher here at Satsuma High School. Would not have guessed that at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Hi, I'm here with Madison. And what grade are you in? 11th grade. All right, so our question for you is, who was the homecoming queen in 2013? Coach Rawls, definitely, for sure. Incorrect. Aww. The answer is Miss Johnson. All right, so what is your name and what grade are y'all in? Janice Weaver in 12th grade. Ashley King in 12th grade. All right, so can y'all identify who is in this picture right here? <laughs> is it Derwich? Good guess. It was actually Kevin Rawls. Uh, he played baseball? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank y'all so much. All right, what grade are y'all in? Seven. Seven. All right. So, what are y'all most excited about for homecoming week? Um, dressing up. Yeah, dressing up. All right, thank y'all. I'm with Miss J, who is the head cheer coach at Satsuma High School. So we have a question for you, and that is, are the cheerleading homecoming traditions the same since you were in high school? Well, um, some of the traditions are the same. Uh, the football player and cheerleader dance that they do, they've been doing since I was in high school. In fact, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but I cheered in high school and we did the same tradition. Um, that's one of the traditions that we've had since long, long, long time ago when I was in high school. Awesome, thanks for sharing. All right, so what's your name? Bryce. And what grade are you in? 10th. All right, so. 
Who, what color was Miss Rawls' trail dress? Purple. Incorrect. It was peach. All right, so what's your name? Haley. What grade are you in? I'm a senior. All right, so in this picture, is this Miss Wainwright? No. Ding, 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 you're correct. It is her <laughs> sister-in-law. All right, so I'm here with Dynasty Back, and what grade are you in? Ninth. So my question for you is, what is your favorite homecoming tradition as a cheerleader? Definitely the pep rally. All right, I'm here with Miss Johnson. And the question I'm going to ask you is, what was it like being a homecoming queen? Um, it's very an honor because you feel like your whole school likes you and appreciates you. And it means a lot. And it's a nice honor to represent the school. Thank you. Hi Gators, welcome to Finnegan's Forecast, a new segment where I give you the weather forecast for the home games on Friday nights. Tomorrow's temperature will be a nice 77 degrees with a 45% chance of rain, so make sure to bring an umbrella. That's all for today. I'm Reed McGuff, and remember, stay classy, Satsuma. This is Mr. Finnegan, and I endorse this weather forecast. Please check back on my Twitter feed for the updated forecast Friday morning. On behalf of the Satsuma High School Peer Helpers, I would like to say thank you to the interesting wildlife moments we encountered during the past two weeks. Beginning with the various flies that we have seen flying around the campus as they found their way into the buildings. From the dragonfly that was left outside Miss Chrysler's classroom, to the pest that was distracting Miss Face classes all day until it passed away in fourth period. The funerals for these animals will be arranged shortly. It seemed as though the animals were shocked by the tragic news, which caused mourning among all animals. A dog was so upset about the deaths that it came to our high school to mourn the passing of these flies. It was greeted by our students with Satsuma hospitality at the Annex parking lot. All in all, that Satsuma peer helpers would like to say thank you and remember kids, don't do drugs.